to episode 5. This episode I decided to start it off a little different. Let you know what I've been up to and jam out for you. You ready? <laughs> Um, it's something we're developing and I thought I'd share it with all of you. Um, it was fun, so I hope you liked it. Okay, so let's go on with the webisode. Last webisode, I asked a question and I said that I would answer it. So the question was, is it better to be a follower or a leader? And I got some great responses, so you know, everyone, for the majority, I think almost everybody said, it's better to be a leader. I'm a leader. I've always been a leader. I set the trends, you know, which is great. And it's definitely something that's taught in the world. And um, I know we've all heard from our parents, you be a leader, not a follower. <laughs> uh, I've heard that several times. So, um, and I get that, you know, it's awesome. But I kind of asked it from a different angle. And um, maybe it was a trick question. But, um, I think that in order to be a great leader, you have to be a good follower. And of course I mean be a good follower of something good and something positive and something that's going to stir people into the, you know, in the right direction. Um, I definitely think that the, 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 the greatest leaders always followed something. You know, they followed the right values and the right way of living. and and people were able to look up to them because they looked up to somebody. So I say all this to say don't discredit followers. You know, there's a lot of people out there that are following the right things that will one day rise up and be great leaders. So nothing against leaders. Of course, leaders have always, they always came from somewhere. So if you're a leader, then most likely you followed something and I encourage to be a great follower and an amazing leader eventually, all right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna move on with questions from the audience. I received a question not too long ago and it didn't make one of the webisodes because sometimes I go over questions, but I wanted to bring it back because it was an interesting question. They said, um, since you were on tour with Rihanna, what did you learn from her and what did she learn from you? Um, being on tour with Rihanna, it was absolutely amazing. It was um, my first major tour. I was the opening act and it was just Rihanna and I as the, the acts. And um, it was an amazing experience. It was the first time that I was on the road. Um, I didn't have a band, it was just uh, my hype man and my DJ, it was very intimate. Rihanna, she was the, she was headlining the tour and she had dancers and pyrotechnics and all that stuff which was really cool. So just observing that kind of dynamic with the dancers and with things, you know, flashing and, and all these kind of effects was really cool and just watching the way she handled herself was really nice and I could say that I learned that dynamic of of being on the road. Um, she was very sweet with me. She always complimented me. She was really a sweetheart and um, this was uh, I think when she did um, this was before Umbrella so this was right before her success really skyrocketed but she was successful enough. People knew her and we toured the entire United States. Um, and she was really sweet. Um, if she learned something from me, I wouldn't know. It's a question that you would have to ask her. Um, she definitely, she was digging my style, uh, my stage presence. 
So, I don't know. I would like to think that maybe, you know, she, she, she bit some things which would have been awesome and flattering, but I don't really know. You'd have to ask her. <laughs> but um, it was a great experience. And, um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to move on because um, we already started with the jam session. and I don't want to take too much time. But um, this was a more serious question. This person said, There was a person in my life who I really liked and truly cared about. We started out as friends and soon became a little closer. We went to school together and we were looking forward to seeing each other every day. It became sort of an obsession. We did what normal friends did, the movies, walked around, texted each other all the time. And whenever I told my true feelings to this friend and tried to get closer, it seemed like the person would draw away and forget about me. I tried to get them back because I wanted them in my life. Eventually, things got steamy, but that didn't last for very long. They continued to try to forget about me, but they're in my mind on a daily basis. When I think about our relationship, I can tell it was me that was doing most of the work and it was a back and forth type situation. I want to move on as well, but it's hard when you still care about the person. What do I do? Um, I often get relationship questions on the webisodes and I like to really just let you know that one thing to know, especially when you're young, is that sometimes relationships we get ourselves into or relationships that come to us are not always the right relationships or or maybe they're just for a time and this person you said every time you got close they would draw away from you um the person probably wasn't ready for that type of relationship or maybe the person really didn't want to pursue going there with you in that situation um that's fine you know you just let the person be and you don't you can't force anyone to do anything and trust me you don't want to be with somebody that doesn't really want to be with you because god has someone for all of us and the way you know i have my prince charming and she has her prince charming and you have you know your princess and you'll have yours and there's that one person that god placed and specifically made for you in this situation because of the the withdrawing from you this probably isn't the one so I would tell you in order to get this person out of your mind and move on like they have you have to do things that will make you happy do things that will fill that void for right now um, Maybe this person wasn't yoked equally for you. Maybe the things that you liked and the things you believed and the things you did, this person didn't. And that's why you didn't mesh. So you just let it go. Let God have his will. And trust me, there's someone out there for you. Do things that are going to distract you for now. Work. School. Have fun, go, you know, hang out with some good friends, do positive things, watch funny movies, you know, just good stuff. No love stuff, maybe right now. Um, try to stay away from those things that bring memories and those places that, you know, have memories with you and the person just for right now because you got to let your emotions heal, all right? Um, and just be encouraged. Be encouraged. Um, there's plenty of people out there, and I'm sure there's one that um, is waiting to have your last name. All right? <laughs> okay. I am going to end it here with the last question, which was a really cool question. This person said, if you were given a full year to do absolutely anything without money being an issue, what would you do with that year? Where would you go? Who would you see? What would you do? Okay, a whole entire year. I, I want to travel. I've always loved to travel. Um, if it was up to me, I'd probably go to Israel. Being that it's war free at the moment. Um, <laughs> making sure it's war free. I don't want to go while there's war. But I'd probably go to Israel. I'd visit the Holy Land. I'd walk. Um, where 
where Jesus walked, I'd, I'd try to get as much knowledge as I can and take in. I'd probably go sit up in the mountains and just spend time just taking it all in and looking at the view and praying and learning myself. Um, with my money being an option, I'd make sure I'd eat the best food, I'd get all the goodies and, you know, get some some cool fashion trends. I'd find out what's hip over there and get the hottest stuff, bring it back, um, give to people. Um, if I had all the money that I could for one year, I would definitely stack up on, you know, food for, you know, the people that are less fortunate all around the world, even in America. I definitely give back um, but seriously I'd probably just travel Israel's at the top of my list Italy um, I definitely want to go to Italy I want to go to Ireland I love green and it's probably gonna be nice and green there um, I would say Egypt but Egypt right now is a little going through some bad times but I do want to see the pyramids but basically, I travel. Um, I probably bring just one person with me. Um, if not, I go alone and just take it all in. So <laughs> I hope that answers your question. Um, I hope you enjoyed this webisode, and I'm looking forward to many, many more. My question for you is: Are you enjoying these webisodes? And um, if so, what do you want to see more in these webisodes, okay? I love you guys, as always. Thank you for your questions. Thank you for tuning in, and God bless you.